Today I'm super excited to show you how you can scrape anything using N8N. This includes LinkedIn, Google Maps, Instagram, Facebook, whatever platform online that you want to be able to scrape, I'm going to show you how to do that. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The way we're going to actually scrape these websites is by using API-Fi. You may or may not have heard of it before, but basically whatever platform out there you want to scrape, API-Fi has that, right? It's got Instagram, it's got Google Maps, it's got TikTok, it has LinkedIn, right? If I search that here, it's got a ton of different stuff. And you might be wondering, why don't we manually get the actual HTML content and then get the data out of it using something like ChatGBT? The reason is because most of these websites, they don't like you scraping. So if you are to manually go in there as a bot and get that data, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time they'll patch the request. So, you know, every time a new video comes out with, you know, how they scraped something for free, within a couple hours, it'll be patched. And then it's like the cycle. I would personally rather pay a couple of dollars to get my leads hundred percent of the time and let another company do the hard work. The way to actually set this up is pretty simple. The trigger can be whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to click on trigger manually for now. And, um, unfortunately NNN does not have a native integration with API Fi, So we will have to make two HTTP requests. Let's click on plus sign here, type in HTTP. So this is making a manual request to API Fi. from here. We need to decide what we want to scrape. So for today's example, I'm going to use the Google maps email extractor, but again, you can use whatever you want. There's many ways to set this up. The easiest way I personally found to set it up. And the one that makes the most sense in my head is to go to API clients here, go to curl curl is kind of a shortcut of putting in all the HTTP data for a request. So I'm, let's just copy this thing on the bottom here, go to NNN, click on import curl, paste it here. And for the input.json, just leave this empty for now. We're going to come back to it in a second. Click on import. And now magically, we have all the data that was here that we have to manually copy paste that's automatically put for us in the right places within NNN. We just have to change two things. First is the actual API token. So exit out of this. Go back to API Fi. And if you go to settings, API integrations. You have to make a new personal API token. So I'm just click on create token. I can just say YT Google maps demo, make sure to not share this with anyone or else they will be able to use your API file account. And basically you will be paying for them. I'm going to copy this here, paste this value here. So now we have our API key populated. And the second thing is going to be the body content. So in a post request, the body content typically specifies what kind of data we want to get back for using fields below. I'm going to switch to using JSON. And if I come back here, this is where I can adjust my query to be whatever I want. So instead of restaurants, I want hotels instead of New York. I want, um, Chicago number of places to extract, right? Make sure to put a number here. If you leave this as zero, cause it is optional. And this is kind of how they trick you. It happened to me. If you leave this as zero, then it's just going to keep running again and again, and you're just going to keep getting charged as well. So make sure to put a number in here. I'm just going to click on two and I'm going to leave this at default, but feel free to play with this as much as you guys want to go to JSON here. So that is basically this information you put in here, but in JSON format, this is the way that NNN actually knows that you have selected these fields as a filter for your searching. Click on using JSON here, paste it here, and that should be it from here. If I click on test step, it's going to execute the node. And an important thing is go back to Google maps, go to runs. You're going to see a new run that's going to be started. That's us actually triggering the crawler to begin working. And if I click on this, you can see that it's gone back two results. But if I go back to NNN, I'm not going to see it return. The reason is because this particular URL that we've called on, it starts the crawling process. It doesn't actually end it. Oftentimes with these crawlers, they'll be running for five, 10, 20 minutes. And it doesn't really make sense for a workflow to wait for that long. So from here, we're going to make a second call to API Fi that actually retrieves this data. I'm going to click on plus sign here, find the exact same HTTP module methods going to be get the URL. I'm going to copy paste here and let me zoom in here. I'm going to put this in the description for you guys. Basically we're going to call the items resource. So all these, you know, different data set items here are actual items and they're sitting within API five. want to get them within our account, which is why we're calling this particular API. The only thing is that this ID here is going to differ based on what run it is, right? Like, so for this run here, it's going to be different than the next run than the next run and so on. So the way we get that is actually called the data set ID, I believe. Um, it's called the default data set ID, which is kind of unintuitive to be honest with you, but that's why you're watching this video. So I'm going to copy this here, put this in between, get rid of this space. So now that's done. Authentication is none for query parameters. We will actually have that. And that's because we need to verify um, our API key. So I'm going to copy this API key here. Remember that the name is token. Come back here. Name is token value is API key. 
And from here, I should be good to go. If I click on test step, it's gonna do its thing. And the data I get back, title is La Fontana. This is La Fontana. And the second one's gonna be Trackside Barn Grill, Trackside Barn Grill. At this point, we actually have this data with an N and N. So this is kind of where we can go crazy and start, you know, having AI make customized responses, refactoring the data, combining the data, calling an AI cold caller. Like this is where we can do whatever we want. For this video, I'm gonna keep it really simple and I'm just gonna put it in a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign here, type in Google Sheet, and we're gonna append a new row. Append just means we're adding a new row on top of what's already there. And I have a sample Google Sheet here with some basic fields. So if I come back here, we're gonna sheet within a document, we're gonna append the row. Document is this YT Google Maps demo, the new one I made here. Um, sheet is just gonna be the default one, sheet one down here. And now we should get some column names. So these map directly to what you put in on the top row here. So restaurant name, let's just start mapping these out real quick. It's gonna be title. Um, phone number is gonna be here. I don't think I want it formatted. Reviews count. This is useful if you wanna kind of use some personalized data to call these leads up. Websites over here. And finally city is up here. So now that all these are mapped out, if I just click on test step, let it do its thing, and I come back here, you're gonna notice that we get the very same data within API Fi to come in our Google Sheets, and now we're free to do whatever we want. We can filter it by review count, we can start calling these leads up, we can make an additional module with an NNN to call ChatGPT and use this data to create a personalized response to cold email them, right? The, really the possibilities are endless. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more in-depth N8N AI tutorials just like this. And if you want to see how I built a Telegram AI bot, watch this video up here.